friends, welcome back to the sawmill. It is a hot day here in Tennessee. 97 degrees and it's three o'clock. That's pretty hot for this time of year. This is Polonia. I've done another Polonia log in my last two videos and I found one more I didn't know I had. That's a shocker, isn't it? But I started on this one last night. We'll finish this up today. We're doing eight quarter. The width is about 20 inches or so. We should get five more slabs out of this log. Now, based on the last videos, a lot of you guys let me know down in the comments that Polonia is also used for surfboards. I was not aware of that. And a lot of people also said they export Polonia overseas as soon as they find it most of the time because that's where the better money is. I didn't know that either. But this is a very unique log, guys. I had a lot of fun sawing into it. I learned a lot about it, and I hope you guys did too. And one more thing here. Let me know what you guys are paying for diesel today. Here in Northeast Tennessee, it's just about $6 a gallon. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys are paying out there. Seems like it's going up every day, guys. I don't know if it's ever going to end. I've got a 100 gallon tank over here that carries farm diesel in it, which is the red dye diesel. It's a little bit cheaper than your regular diesel you get at the gas station. And that 100 gallon tank is getting low and I gotta make that phone call here in about a week or so to have them come out and refill it. And my goodness, I am dreading that, let me tell you. So it's gonna be a nice phone call to make. So we'll finish this log up. Like I said, we'll get five more slabs out of it. Then we'll move on to something else, probably some white pine and maybe some cedar. Yeah, I got a cedar right here on the loading arms. I need to resaw it down to two inch boards or one inch boards, right? I gotta look at my notes. I can't remember what I need actually. We'll do the cedar, then we'll do some pine. And a real quick, friends, I want to thank you all being on Patreon for supporting me here in the channel. I really appreciate it. If you're interested in supporting us over there, there's a link down below. Go check it out. Man, it's hot today. Did I mention how hot it is? It is so hot that I went out last night to Tractor Supply and I bought an exhaust fan to put in the chicken house because at nighttime, the chicken house was 90 degrees. We thought it might kill them being in that heat all night long, so we put an exhaust fan in there last night. I tell you, chickens are fun. It's gonna be nice having eggs. But I tell you what, man, chickens are expensive. Between the chicken run, using the old kiln, and all this other stuff, I'm well over $1,000 into these chickens so far. They better lay some golden eggs, is all I can say. Let's get going, guys. It ain't gonna get no cooler on us. Friends, got that other Polonia log finished up. And to be honest with you, I cut the cameras off and I went and took a dip in the pool. I tell you guys, it's hot today. It's very hot. This is Eastern Red Cedar. I think I got this squared up to a six by six. I can't remember, it's 12 feet long. We're gonna be cutting this down into two by twos. 
I got an order for some two by two pickets for a porch. So this should be a good candidate for that. I saw this down about a month ago into a six by six. I can't remember why to be honest with you. So this will be a good candidate for this. But this should go pretty fast and we'll jump in the 754 and bring up some more logs. I meant to mention this earlier on the sawmill today, we're running the Joe Main Silver Tip Turbo 7. I get those from Joe down in Georgia. If you want those blades, give him a phone call. His cell phone number is down in the video description. Let's knock this one out real fast, guys, and get in the tractor and move on to something else. I'm not sure what we're gonna saw after this one. I've not made up my mind yet. that didn't take too long my customer only needs these to be about 32 inches long so we're going to cut these in half that way he don't have 12 footers hanging out the bed of his truck All right, guys, we got that loaded up and ready to saw. That maple, friends, is pretty nasty. I'm not sure what's gonna be inside of it. I gotta run downtown real fast to pick up Bruno. He's doing this summer camp at a local school. Take him out to eat, then get back here and we'll finish up that maple. Or start on the maple, rather. Not even started on it. You guys hang in there, I'll be right back. Back up here at the sawmill and it's still hot. It is six o'clock and it's still 98 degrees here in Tennessee. I tell you what, very warm day today. This log is a mess, friends. It's not a very good log to be honest with you. Got some bark going on right here that's kind of coming off on the side. I'm not sure what's going on right there. It looks like somebody tried to carve their name in it right here with the letter N. I promise it wasn't me. It's got a lot of twist to it as well. A whole lot of twist. 100 inches on the length. I don't know. I'm really not sure what to do with this log, to be honest with you. So down here, the diameter is about 24 inches, but it's flaring out real big here at the bottom. Down here, don't go anywhere. I'll walk down here a second. On this other, uh, we're looking at 17 inches right down here. I did use my tow board to bring up the small end so we get a nice flat face right here parallel with the bark when we start sawing. And I'm thinking, unless I see a lot of spalting, and this thing's been on the ground for a while, I think at least a year. I brought this home a year ago if I remember right. I could be wrong about that. It seems like it's been a year. But there could be some spalting in here. If we see a lot of spalting, I'll probably do eight quarter. If I don't see any spalting, I'll probably just do five quarter boards and call it done. But this twist right here, guys, is a big concern because the drain, when you got a twist, it's never good. It's never good. The drain's going in two different directions, it's twisting, and when you saw it, you're 
you know, you're going between that twist or straight through the twist rather, and the fibers are kind of ending up where they end up on something like this, and it's really a mess, guys. A commercial sawmill would probably make this into a cross tie and be done for the day. They wouldn't fool trying to do boards on something like this. Too many problems with it. But I do see some evidence of spalting right here at the top. Looks like we've got some nice poison right here as well. It's gonna be fun, ain't it? So let's open this one up, guys, and see what's inside and decide what we're gonna do with it. I'm thinking five quarter boards. 